Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video on how to install the Super Springs, the self-adjusting suspension stabiliser. Now inside the kit, you obviously get the two Super Springs, you get the four shackles which are already assembled, you also get the roller bushes, that's all part of the kit, plus the high density rubber bushes, and these go with the system as well. So that's what comes in the kit, sealed, ready to go. As far as tools are concerned, you're going to need a tape measure, just for doing some measurements, and we'll show you what that's all for in a moment. A G-clamp, a couple of spanners, 17 mils all you're going to need, and then you'll also need a wheel brace of some sort, obviously, to get your wheels off. On top of that, you're going to need a trolley jack, some jack stands, and I'd advise to use some wheel chocks as well. Safety is obviously important, so make sure you follow these steps. Now, this is a DIY kit, or it can be done by a professional. It's pretty straightforward, it takes about 20 minutes per side. We'll show you how it works. Now before we actually mount the super spring to the vehicle, what we want to do is take out the shackle bolt here and the roller bush and the sleeve, you can see that they're two components. So make sure they're kept together, okay, and we'll just leave those sitting there for the moment. You can see on the shackle here there's two mounting holes. It'll come bolted into the top one. You actually want to install it in the bottom one here. The reason for that is that's your lowest setting this is your higher setting. And what that actually means is that's gonna change the ride height and the weight loading of the vehicle. So start in this one, and you can always move it up to this one later on. Position wheel chocks either side of the front wheels, and then use a trolley jack to raise and lower the car. Make sure you use quality jack stands and put them in the correct position to keep the car secure. We'll just crack all the wheel nuts as required. You can obviously use just a normal tool, or you can use a rattle gun. In this case, I'm just using a socket. So the next step here is just to get a clean rag and just wipe the dust and dirt off the top of the diff. Once that's in position, and then the spring goes on top, that's not going to move at all anyway, because it's under load. Okay, moving right along, we need to now position the super spring inside the wheel arch. And what you want to do is you want to position this central so that your gap between this end and the other end is equal. Don't worry so much about where the centre line of your diff is going to be, because you're mounting this to get an even balance. Okay, now that we've got the super spring in position, you want to have your shackle, pin and bush all sitting here ready to go. I'll put those down here on the ground. You'll see up here that to get the super spring to actually sit over the spring and for the shackle to mount over the top, it's not going to reach. That's where the G-clamp comes into it. So we need to now position the G-clamp in position and tighten it up. Okay, now get the shackle, pin and bush, put it all through, get your lock nut, and put that back in position. Now we just simply need to tighten it all up. Now that we've got it all together and you're going to do it all up, make sure you only adjust the bottom part of the shackle here, okay? Not the top section, because this needs to remain loose so that you've got the pivot angle happening. Okay, now that's hanging loose there, and we're just gonna back off the G-clamp, and you'll see that it'll suddenly start to pick up the load. Now we've only got one side on it, we'll go to the other end now. Now when you get to the back part, or the second part of each of the super springs, you probably find that this is a lot higher than the other side was because obviously you've done one side up. Just make sure you've got it relatively central east-west. Have the shackle either side of the leaf spring, put the G-clamp on and then wind it down into position. The final step here is just to make sure you tighten the, the lower shackle bolts. Again, as I said, don't touch the top ones. Tighten the lower shackle bolts prior to releasing the G-clamp because it's gonna spring out of the way now. Final step. Release the G-clamp and you probably heard a big bang there. Be very careful when you remove it. Once you've got it all together, just have a final inspection. Just make sure you've got nothing that's gonna foul and hit as you put the load back onto it again. So now that we've finished it on the driver's side, we'll just move over to the passenger side, get that done, and then we'll show you the end result. These kits are going to improve the load carrying and stability of your vehicle. So for 20 minutes per side, they're a very simple DIY installation or you can have a professional install them for you as well. Thanks for watching and safe driving.